Indie Mogul. Hey everyone, welcome to Backyard Effects. This week we're going back to basics and showing you how to make a Star Trek-esque transporter effect. All of you probably know that there's a new Star Trek movie coming out with fancy special effects and Eric Bana. Well here at Indie Mogul we thought we would take a step back and recreate some more retro special effects. Also let's not forget you, the Indie Mogul community. This transporter effect was requested by Fighter Fat 11, Cityscape Pictures, Movie Magic Man, Crazy Productions, and CIJN Productions. We're actually going to show you two different ways to create this effect, but first we need to know our budget. Gary? Spin the wheel? We'll have to reconfigure the deflector dish, Captain. Make it so. Yes, sir. A small fish tank, some gold and silver glitter, a clamp light, and some black fabric. What happens when you put together one band and one filmmaker to create an original music video for $99? Watch world premiere videos every week at $99musicvideos.com. $99 Music Videos is best experienced with Verizon Fios Internet. My name's Harry, and I see movies everywhere. You're watching Indie Mobile. This project is rated skill level 4. Alright, we're in the workshop and this week we're going to mostly focus on creating the classic transporter effect from the original Star Trek TV series. Now this effect is delightfully campy and rooted in practical special effects. Which means a lot of you are probably thinking, why don't I just go straight to the computer, do this all digitally with uh, After Effects or Apple Motion, and you absolutely can. And honestly, it might be a little bit faster. But if you don't have any of those fancy computer programs or you just want to get your hands dirty and do this retro style, then BFX is here to help. The practical part of this effect is pretty simple. First, set up a couple of boxes and cover them with some black fabric. Next, set your fish tank on these boxes, but make sure and leave a gap at the bottom for a light to shine through. Now you can hang the rest of your black fabric behind the tank and set up your clamp light underneath. Fill the tank with water and set up your camera on a tripod. Now dump a ton of glitter inside. Turn off all the lights except for your one clamp light. Turn on the camera and stir like crazy. Congratulations, you have just created a custom particle effect. Now it's time to add some computer magic. Once you've got your footage into your editing software, the first thing you want to do is add a luma key. Then you can color correct, rotate, mess with the speed, or whatever else you want to do to tweak the particles. To add this effect to the actual transporter scene, you'll need to isolate your character in Photoshop. With your subject separated from your background, you can manipulate and add the energy effect to only your character. With some more tweaking, a lot of cross dissolves, and a cool sound effect, you just recreated a classic sci-fi effect. As promised, here's another quick way to create the transporter effect without getting glitter under your nails. Step 1. Set up your camera on a tripod and film your actor getting ready to be transported. Step 2. Have your actor walk off camera and film about 15 seconds of an open frame. Step 3. Go to IndieMogul.com and download our one-size-fits-all version of the energy effect. Step 4. Take your two clips, put them in your editing software, and use a cross-dissolve to make your actor fade away. Then place your energy effect on top of that and you're good to go. And we're done with another BFX build episode. And remember, if you're not a big Star Trek fan, you can use the same technique to make people or things magically disappear, explode, or just fade away. But for those of you who are Star Trek fans, I gotta know, which Star Trek movie is your favorite? For me, it's number six, Undiscovered Country. You got the ship that can fire while cloaked. Come on. But tell us your favorite by leaving a comment down below. Gary. 
one to beam up. If you're gonna fill a fish tank with glitter and water, you should be very careful when um, disposing of it because, yeah, it gets all over the place. <laughs>